This is Tradeflow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Tradeflow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. The Biden administration is willing to move ahead with a ban on Russian oil imports into the United States without the participation of allies in Europe, two people familiar with the matter told Reuters, after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. President Joe Biden is expected to hold a video conference call with the leaders of France. Germany and the United Kingdom on Monday as his administration continues to seek their support for a ban on the imports. The White House is also negotiating with congressional leaders who are working on fast-tracking legislation banning Russian imports, a move that is forcing the administration to work on an expedited timeline, a source told Reuters. Commodity prices went on the rampage on Monday as industrial buyers and traders scrambled to source raw materials hit by supply disruptions caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Nickel rocketed 60%, palladium reached a record level and gold broke through $2,000 an ounce on safe haven appeal, while oil and wheat jumped to 14-year highs. Nerves of steel will be needed amid the extreme volatility, analyst Daniel Brieseman at Commerzbank in Frankfurt said in a note. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Energy accounted for nearly two-thirds of the European Union's imports from Russia last year, the bloc's statistics office said on Monday amid worries about its dependency on Russian gas following the invasion of Ukraine. Although exports and imports between the two territories have declined between 2011 and 2021, Eurostat data showed that last year Russia remained the fifth largest partner for EU exports of goods and the third one for imports. In 2021, energy was the most imported product by the EU from Russia, accounting for 62% of the region's total imports or the equivalent of 99 billion euros, $107.87 billion. Oil prices spiked to their highest level since 2008 on Monday amid market supply fears as the United States and European allies considered banning Russian oil imports and prospects for a swift return of Iranian crude to global markets receded. Brent crude reached $139.13 a barrel and U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, hit $130.50 in early trading, the highest levels for the benchmarks since July 2008. By 10.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 15.56 GMT, Brent had gained $4.93, or 4.2%, to $123.04 a barrel and WTI was up $3.23, or 2.8%, to $118.91 a barrel. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Oil and other commodities prices soared while global shares sank on Monday as the risk of a US and European ban on Russian crude imports threatened supply chains and heaped further inflationary pressure on economies worldwide. Brent, the international benchmark, briefly hit more than $139 a barrel, its highest level since 2008. Nickel soared 30%, gold broke through $2,000 an ounce and wheat jumped to a 14-year high, as industrial buyers and traders scrambled to source raw materials hit by supply disruptions caused by the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Read more. Eurozone real government bond yields fell sharply due to surging energy prices, even before talks of a Russian oil ban, raised concerns that global economies are at risk of stagflation where prices soar even as growth flatlines. The London Metal Exchange, LME, said on Monday it was closely monitoring nickel and other metals after prices surged as Western sanctions against Russia disrupted supply from the major producer. Benchmark three-month prices for LME nickel, which is used to make stainless steel and batteries for electric vehicles, surged about 60% on Monday to $46,850 a tonne, and have now nearly doubled since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24. We note the large price move in nickel over the weekend and are monitoring all metals closely to ensure market activity remains orderly, the LME said in a statement. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Commodity mutual funds and exchange-traded funds, ETFs, have posted strong gains over the past week, as crude oil and metal prices jumped after an escalation in the conflict between major commodity producers Russia and Ukraine. 
ProShares Ultra Bloomberg crude oil surged 47.3% in the last week, while United States oil fund LP and Ishares S&P GSCI Commodity Index Trust gained 22% and 19.8% respectively. Oil prices spiked to their highest levels since 2008 on Monday as the United States and European allies weighed a Russian oil import ban and delays in the potential return of Iranian crude to global markets fueled supply fears. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.